Good afternoon. My name is Prashant. I welcome you all to AWS webinar by Edureka. Today's session is all about AWS Cloud Trail. So, as part of our today's session, we'll quickly talk about why do we need Cloud Trail, what is Cloud Trail, some features of Cloud Trail, functionality, limitations, Cloud Trail versus Cloud Watch. What is the difference? Are they same? Are they different? And all of that we'll discuss. And we'll not have hands-on because this is a quick session, so there will not be any hands-on. Right, but yeah, this is what the course is all about. I mean, the agenda is all about for our today's session. So, with that note, let's get started with why do we need Cloud Trail? So, Cloud Trail is basically a service from AWS altogether. The purpose of this service is to ensure you understand all the user aspects. Okay, the basically Cloud Trails are essential to simplify operation analysis and troubleshooting basically who is doing what changes to keep track of that who has made what changes when they have done right from which user id which login id and other details so using all those details you have the records available right so this way it helps you achieve your operational goals operational goals are what keeping track of the changes which are happening in your cloud infrastructure the name suggests cloud trails so trails are nothing but something which is left behind. So let's say you log into your AWS account. So that should be a record that user so and so had logged in to the AWS account from so and so source IP address at so and so time using so and so credentials. So this trail is left. So tomorrow if your administrator want to check it out, if your organization's administrator wants to check it out, that who are the list of users who logged in on Monday at this point in time? So using cloud trail, this job can be easily achieved. Not only for this, even for the purpose of troubleshooting. Let's say you end up launching some server on your cloud. Now I want to understand who launched that server. Okay. Who launched the server? Right. So easily using this cloud trail logs, I can go ahead and get those details. Okay. Easily, I can go ahead and get those details. Right. So the purpose of cloud trails are nothing but these are essential to simplify your operational analysis and troubleshoot, right? It directly contributes to achieving your business goals faster. Yeah. Now understand this. What is cloud trail? So cloud trail is a management service provided by AWS on AWS cloud, which enables governance, compliance, operational audit, as well as risk auditing of your AWS account. Okay, compliance, governance, auditing, as well as risk auditing. Okay, operational audit is different from a risk audit. Operational audit is to check who logged in and when. That is operational audit. Risk audit is identifying is there any risky action that is being done by any of the user. For an example, I'll keep it in a very simple terms. Let's assume in your team there are 10 members. Out of 10 members, two members have left the organization. And your admin team has forgot to deactivate their account. Now, what these two members who left your organization, what they did is on a random trial and error basis, they tried to log into your organization AWS account. And fortunately, unfortunately, administrator forgot to disable their account or delete their account. These users were able to log in and they were able to execute changes. So this is a risk audit. Wherein when I audit, I'll get to know that okay, these two users who are supposed to be, whose accounts are supposed to be deleted, their accounts are still active. So that will be identified under your risk audit. Governance obviously ensuring that you know your users are not using root credentials to log in, or compliance ensuring that okay, users are only logging in from this particular source of IP addresses, so on and so forth. So that is part of your compliance. So Cloud Trail is basically a service which keeps track of all this. Any activity which you perform on your AWS infrastructure will be recorded in your cloud trail. Okay, let it be your user based activity. Let it be your API based activity. So all of that are being closely tracked on your cloud trail, right? Then talking about some features of cloud trail. So features of cloud trail, multi regional event history is maintained. File can be encrypted. File integrity can be maintained. Multi regional is nothing but for different regions, you can keep track of this. In cloud, in AWS cloud, we have regions and availability zones architecture. 
right so across different region when you have your infrastructure deployed you can keep track of this event history is maintained so who is doing what event everything is recorded and that history is being maintained file encryptions you want this files to be this logs to be this data to be completely encrypted so that unauthorized users or users who are not supposed to access this right or some hackers some bad users some attackers should not be able to read this data you it allows you to encrypt and keep your data file integrity file integrity is basically nothing but ensuring there is no tampering of the file and that can be achieved using cloud clear now talking about functionality of working so functionality of working directly talks about two things so account activity occurs then it is recorded under cloud trail so cloud trail captures and records the activity of an event log recorded events are logged and dumped into your s3 bucket s3 is a storage and not a centralized to console only logs event in aws cloud trail and its integrated service okay so as i told you on your aws account if there is any kind of activity that happens everything will get recorded onto your cloud trail as an event it is recorded as an event now this event has to be stored because let's say exactly three months back someone did this changes i want to go back and trace back i want to do tracing back then how do i do that because these events will keep getting overwritten over the period of time let's say today 10000 users logged in then over the period of time obviously these events will get overwritten so how do i ensure i have all the data available by enabling logging so these events are logged and these events are stored in your s3 bucket now you can decide how you want to store in s3 whether you want to store it in a standard storage class or you want to store it in a standard ia or you want to uh, you know archive it the choice is completely yours as an organization it is completely your call on that but then please understand this logs is what you will use in future also to go back and do the trace back if you want to go back do a time travel look into this logs three months old six months old one year old only this logs will help you so one year old who you know exactly one year right exactly one year back on this particular day at this particular time who logged into my aws account and what activity did they do if i want this data if i want this dump then using cloud trail only it can be done okay so cloud trail is so sophisticatedly developed that across aws infrastructure you make any changes everything will be recorded across aws infrastructure not specific to one or two service it's not that only if you make changes to iam only if you make changes to ec2 only if you make changes to vpc only if you make changes to dynamo db only that will be recorded no across your aws account any user activity detected will be recorded in the cloud trail and you can store that as a logs so now moving a bit ahead now moving a bit ahead talking about the next element of discussion so as i told you functionality working integrated services so you can integrate with different aws services okay user logs into aws console so this is one event user then creates a table in dynamo db this is a second event so these activities are recorded and stores as a log in your cloud trail automatically the logs are stored in event history and can be viewed by user these logs are stored in your event history and this can be accessed by you as a user clear so event history in cloud trail and exporting dynamo db data so before i move forward let me quickly log into my aws console to just show you how the dashboard will look like okay so this is my aws console okay so i change it to mumbai region for a moment please pay attention now in the search window i say cloud trail please pay attention in the search window i say cloud trail all right so this is your cloud trail dashboard you have to create a trail and all of that so i right now we are not going to have that demo i say event history just to show you how the events will look like okay so this is what your event history is okay this is what your event history is all about so let's say i can filter out so i, I say aws access key okay 
and if I want to filter out the logs, so I can easily filter out. If I want to say on the basis of event ID, right? So if I want, I can easily filter out with that event. So what I want to do is what I can decide, okay? On resource type, read only event source, right? So I have choices. I can define what can be my event source and I can filter out. So across different services of AWS, this gets recorded. So I can define that as a filters. Okay. Define this as a filter or I can say read only events for an example. Then it will keep track of all of the events that has happened within my AWS account. All of the events that has happened on my AWS account. Everything will be tracked here. Now, like this morning, I was doing something related to my S3. So it gives me all the details around that. Okay. All these events is what I was able to observe. Right. All these events is what I was able to observe. For example, put bucket public access block. So it says event time is this. Okay. January 31st, 903 UTC, uh, that is IST Indian Standard Time in Mumbai region. This is the source IP address of the machine. Logged in as a root user. Event change put bucket public access block was the name of the event. Okay, this is the event ID and the source of the event is s3.amazonaws.com, right? And then it will give you the details in your JSON format, right? So whatever is on the top, the same information. Guys, am I making sense? So this is how your event looks like. This is how your event history will look like. So I can say last 30 minutes if I want to filter out. If there are any events, it is going to tell. If I say last one hour, if there are any events, it is going to tell me that. See this? We have been doing this for last some three, four minutes. So even those events are recorded here. You cannot change this event types. You cannot say that, okay, I want my event to look like this or look like that. That is not possible. These are generated by default. You can only create a trail. And have the train stored in your S3. That is the possibility. Okay. You can have that trail stored in your S3. Apart from that, you cannot do any kind of customization as such. That okay, when the event is generated, it should uh, instead of you know, when someone does this, it should tell this as an event type, not what AWS has by default. No, that cannot be allowed or that cannot be done. Okay. You can filter out, you can download, all those options are available. You can download this as a CSV, download this as a JSON. That option is something which is available. Okay. So this is an event history. From my AWS account, I have taken this entire event history. So whatever you do on your AWS account, everything will be recorded as an event. Now I was talking about this AWS, you know, solution architect certification training course. So let me tell you, it's a well curated detailed learning path. Okay. So it is not just a theoretical session. You have a lot of discussions right from day one, right? Along with a lot of hands on. So you start with introduction to AWS. Then you go about discussing about security management in AWS. Then you go about in detail discussing about you know, Amazon EC2. Then you go about storage options, right? You go about talking about your load balancing, auto scaling route 53. Then you have a detailed discussion around databases, right? And then you go about networking, monitoring and all of that. Then we have a detailed discussion around application services with Lambda. We have discussions around configuration management. And then at last we have discussion around, you know, DevOps on cloud, some additional content and stuff. Okay. And now let me tell you at the each module is designed with a lot of hands on. That hands on experience is something that will help you relate with the industry projects and experiences. Right. So that is a detailed path right of this particular course now coming back to our limitations of cloud trail so cloud trail trails limited to five per region two transactions per second okay event selectors limited to five per trail right you can have selections in the sense filters and event size is limited to 256 kb so these are some limitations which you need to remember so two transactions per second can be recorded trails limited to five per region Event selectors limited to five per trail, right? 
and event size is limited to 256 kb so now cloud trail versus cloud watch there is often a confusion between cloud trail and cloud watch cloud watch is completely a different service cloud trail is completely a different service first thing that you need to understand cloud trail it's a management tool used for the governance compliance risk auditing etc okay here you can log continuously monitor and retain account activity related to action across aws infrastructure so cloud trail on a longer run simplifies your security analysis resource tracking troubleshooting and stuff that is when i talk about cloud watch CloudWatch is a monitoring and management service which provides data and actionable insight to monitor your resources. For example, your server CPU is going high. This information you can only get on your CloudWatch, not on your cloud trail. Okay, your storage is going full. This information you can only get in CloudWatch, not on cloud trail. Yes, for example, you know, user has logged in and deleted a server. Now this information will be available in your cloud trail, not on CloudWatch. Okay. So unlock, unlike CloudTrail, which keeps a log of all the requests and action in the AWS account, CloudWatch focuses more on performance, optimizing resources, utilization, and operational health perspective. So this is more of a proactive monitoring of your AWS infrastructure from an operational standpoint of view. CloudWatch is monitoring from operation standpoint of view. CloudTrail is monitoring or recording events from your compliance security audit point of view. Okay. So focuses mainly on the monitoring of the services, reporting on their health and performance, focuses on creating logs of all the events taking place in cloud trails and its integrated service. User can analyze logs and optimize resource for better performance. Here, compliance support, all events are logged and can be viewed by user to ensure business agility and adhere to standards. Delivers data in one minute for a detailed monitoring and five minutes for a basic monitoring. An event is logged into event history every five minutes. These logs are further dumped into S3 bucket every 15 minutes. Okay. So, yes, my dear friends, that's about your cloud trail. That's it from my side for today's session. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.